we've not got the time for this rhyme because today it's Mbappe. Let's go. Point number one, my friends. Where are you in a rush to go? You're probably thinking Mbappe is so fast, he looks like he's always in a hurry. Wrong. If you notice, most defenders dive in on him. And why do they do this? Because he's one of the fastest dudes on the planet. All right, you can use this to your advantage in the same exact way. Defenders are at a disadvantage. They cannot dive in. They cannot make the first move. Once you understand that they're going to pressure you, once you understand that they're gonna poke their foot in, push you, attack you, when you have the ball at your feet, you use it to your advantage, you tap it out to the side, and you sprint and go. Mbappe's superpower is in his use of momentum. He knows that he can go from zero to 100 faster than anybody on the field, and he does this all the time by starting and stopping. Start, go, start, go, start, go. He does this in the attacking half, and he does this when he's on the wing. We'll talk more about that later, but for now, remember, the second you receive a pass, let that defender show you exactly what he's thinking, and if he does, you exploit it. This has got to be one of my favorite skills of all time because it creates something out of nothing. That's why I love it. All strikers have to have a way of putting the ball in the back of the net when they know there's no possibility. It seems impossible. And the way to do this is to cut outside and shoot inside. He does this tremendously well. We've talked about it before, but it has to be drilled into your head until you guys go out to the field and try and do this. Or you go to training and you try and do this. When you take a step out, when you take a step out with the ball and look far post, the defender has to block it. He has to look to that side. All you have to do now is shoot near post. Why? Because the goalie is gonna be covered. The goalie has to cover the far post. Everyone has to cover this spot. There's no way around it. The defender cannot let you shoot far post. That's the easiest goal. By you taking on a player, one-on-one, -on -one, opening up your body, open up wide, turn your body, make it very obvious, I'm shooting over here. You have to cover this. He has scored so many goals like this. Messi does this also tremendously well. You can incorporate it straight into your game and start banging in all the goals. One of my favorite skills of all time, we're gonna call this the step down pump fake. Mbappe likes to do this all the time on the wing and so does his friend Neymar. You can do this too. It's very, very easy. Once again, same principle as the first point applies. Do not rush all of your moves. Wait a second. Once you have it, if you have a little bit of speed, let the game come to you. In order to pull off this skill, take a step back behind the ball as if to lunge backwards. The defender will come and follow you or he will at least stop. Once you put your foot down, you take every ounce of power and force you have and you scoop the ball as you then continue to go past him. One thing to remember is that when you push this ball and scoop it up, make sure that the ball extends way past the defender because you are going to use all that momentum you collected in order to sprint past them to then obviously go cut again and then cut again and then shoot and score and do whatever it is that you want. But the point is you're gonna to have to practice this a whole bunch, walk through it, slow down when you're learning new skills. If you don't slow down, you won't master them and this is how to do it. Step back, scoop up, step back, scoop up and you're gone. One thing you'll notice about the great strikers is that they do all of the simple things very, very well. And in this point right here, you're going to see a principle of the game that if you don't have down, you are leaving goals off the table, my friends. You have to check in and you have to check out. A guy as fast as Mbappe means that he could probably just beat anybody to any corner whenever he wants to, but he still does the principle the way it should be. Every striker deals with one thing. The ball is on the wing, cross is coming in. You have to decide how are you going to get to the goal? Are you gonna go near post? Are you gonna go far post? How are you gonna make your run? Are you taller than everybody? Are you gonna jump up high? It's simple, all right? If you know that you can get the defender on his back foot, then you're open. If the ball comes to you, it's a goal. And look as what he does here, and he does this all the time, is he'll check near post and then go far. Notice that he checks in and immediately sprints out. Once the defender realizes that he is not where he's supposed to be, it's too late. The ball is in the back of the net. It's the same thing for you. Always keep things unpredictable. Check near post, go far. Go far post, come near, right? Stand, stay at the back. Do all of these things. You have to figure out new ways. You cannot just expect the ball to come straight to your head or straight to your foot. Sometimes you don't let things happen. You make them happen. 
That's the vid. Leave us a like, comment down below, and subscribe. Check out everything from us here at Unisport right down below in the description box. And we, my friends, will see you later. I don't need to hit the crossbar because I always do. Check out this highlight reel. Crossbar. I, that, don't turn it off. Cut it off. Cut. How many cameras? Cut it. Cut. Hey.